Okay, then. So this is a great way to start off episode 13, huh? The unlucky yeah. 13. Whiny fucking bitches. Holy crap. Give me a break. Um, <laughs> fuck. I'm telling you. The people with attitudes and their drama bullshit. Um, yeah, this is going to be not a topic of previously discussed and it has nothing to do with the previously unmentioned people before. This is totally somebody different. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, so or should I say a pair? Um, yeah. Anyway. But, you know, shit rolls on. But, uh, you know, when you when you give somebody, uh, uh, um, what do you want to call it? You know, not an attitude. But yet, you get an attitude in return, thinking that you have an attitude is kind of a really shitty attitude, you know. Oh. Um, uh, do you have to, something to interject on this? Uh, well, yeah. Um, let's start off with saying hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 13 of the Wicked Corner Radio Show thingy. Thingy. Oh. <laughs> thingy. It, 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 it's a radio show, a podcast, vlog. I don't know. I, yes, I don't know about the we podcast. We still haven't really set, you know, what we actually considered this. Because if it was a radio, it would be on the radio. Okay, so, so it's a it's know. a kind of but a vlog thing. How's that? Vlog thing. Okay, so anyways. So, yeah, um, typically... As a woman, if you are accused of having an attitude, when you don't have an attitude, you end up getting an attitude. Yep. So, and this revolved around me, obviously, as Oh, you of know. course, yeah. So, yeah, I go to somebody out of concern. I'm a, I... Maybe I didn't word it entirely accurately, out of concern because I quite literally woke up. Well, no caffeine, no that, coffee, no nothing in I, my I, You were reading this to me, and I'm halfway into my first cup of coffee of the day. So the thing is, is that uh, I was just kind of like, um, what the fuck? Um, mm -hmm. Where the hell did this come from? You know, I, yeah. I didn't really see any needs for any of that to come uh, to happen, but. Um, that that um yeah I, I just like okay all right so yeah I, I went to this person out of concern i may not have worded it you know appropriately to show that i was oh concerned. no no it's somebody's uh you know interpretation as always um, right the misinterpretation so, uh, of you know it, it's yeah okay go ahead Yes, shut up. <laughs> Let me talk. I Dang will it. shut up. So yeah, went to this person out of concern to see what was up. I thought everything was okay. Asked for them to let their partner know, to message me, you know, because we have issues with communication with the partner. The partner messages me, coming at me with, like, hair rays, nails, and daggers out. Just completely full on attitude. So is that all yeah. you had to say, really? Well, I was trying to give a little bit of context, and you just kept interrupting. Uh huh. Just so okay. it wasn't a, from the original person that I messaged. It was from their partner. That I don't know. Maybe they just don't like people being in their box. Are they, you know, that insecure about other people being in their partner's box? I don't know. I don't know if that's some of the attitude that came through. I, I'm just trying to figure it out, like, what the crap just happened. M maybe if I have a little more caffeine in my system and a couple more cigarettes, I might be able to understand a little better. I don't know. Uh, um, but well, yeah. note, note to self, um, do not go to that club. <laughs> what, whatever club is it there manager at uh, i'm like wow that kinda, yeah. that kinda, that, that's kinda worse than, like, the, the that kind of that's kind of that's kind of worse than like the the previous unspoken club of before but um we won't get into that because apparently even that's got some still has some misinterpretations on a lot of things but 
That's neither here nor there. Yeah, because I was kind of thinking since they were managers that they would be able to empathize with the, you know, last minute notification of needing a cover. Um, that there's, you know, a scramble that, oh, crap. Okay. Um, are you okay? Because this isn't normal. And um, this really sucks. When you knew days before that you weren't feeling well, that your plate is way too full for you now. Uh, I'm getting onto a ramble, I know. Uh, just yes, you're sure. just getting into. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I know how you are, and you just start, and it just. I was no me meaning to be a guilt trippy thing. Mm, well, just like like I said, don't... it's misinterpretation, which happens when you text. Because as, yeah, as you know, because right? the text is very cold and doesn't really, and people's interpretations are shitty, and yep. um, and it, that's that's all there is to it, and um, mm -hmm. I know because this this platform here, what we're doing today, um, is misconstrued as well. I mean, nobody likes our opinions, and I throw them out there to some place where they can't stop it. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I got a cough. <coughs> a coughing fit. And this is where we insert, you know, little dramatic music or calming music. Or, I don't know. Dramatic music. While we music. wait. Yeah, well, yeah or the Jeopardy tune. Dee -dee 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 -dee. You know, while we wait for you to come back from your coughing fit. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so that was that. That was that. And it's it seems that my... um. Let our previous video, the uh, me discussing where, where Dude, the body, where's my peen? Where's my peen at? Is kind of, um, kind of taken on a life of its own with a lot of other comments too as well. So it's like, mm -hmm. all right, uh, well, yeah, you actually got some people that kind of agree with you. Yeah, it's kind of oh, funny. It is true. Come on, now we have to revisit this. I mean, every female avatar, even. I'm sure even though the, the ones that just create one today still has a vagina. Okay? It does, but it doesn't. And us dudes who they don't really give a shit too much about. Um, <laughs> Not another Bonnie bot. Make it stop. <laughs> I was, That's why I just had to <laughs> pause to see that. I saw that. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I've had that one and not another Brendan bot. Make it stop. Show up at my other Linden house. Wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, so funny. so anyways, so yeah, as as Doug has mentioned, I mean, we us as dudes come into SL because we don't matter, you know, because even look at our clothing line and our body options and all that other happy horse shit. We're kind of like very second class here. So the thing is, is that you know, we just, we, we're we just Ken dolls with pubic hair. Yeah. You know, and women, on the other hand, come in and you're already equipped. We are, but we aren't. I mean, it doesn't open up. You have to buy, well. Okay, no, but. Let me backtrack. There is a body where it does. It is fully like there. Oh no no. That came out. No. The, the, but we it, have it, like a, a a texture on our skin, or you should still the female body should be like a Barbie doll, and which has nothing. So then, do you want skin creators to doodle a peen going down your leg on the skin? Would that make you feel better? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It would be interesting. Just a just a little thing like it's like you know, like there's something pasted there, you know. Right. You, you know, so you. Well, then we would be you know equals because you know the skin creators do a little slit, you know, there for the females on their skin. So yeah, well, just that, doodle a little <laughs> peen going down the leg. That and I want to know where these creators come up with. Uh, with what a vagina looks like because they're all over the fucking place i mean do some of them take pictures of their own and kind of like oh this looks good yeah let's post it on here and i'm just <laughs> uh, yeah some of the textures kind of suck it's like, like the, the it's... skin that i'm wearing right now it goes way too far up 
it's like the peen. I mean, come on, look at the peens you buy. I mean, some of them are, are just kind of uh, unrealistic. Uh, very unrealistic. At all. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I mean, if you offered a peen that looked like one of these Greek statues, that's pretty much more realistic. Right. <laughs> you know. Nobody's going to walk around with a foot-long dick on their body. Well, but a lot of people in SL like that. They like to have the, you know, the horse peen or whatever, Yeah. pretty it's, much. It's called compensate, um, compensating for something. <laughs> so. It's funny how we got know, back on that to- topic from last week, huh? Well, everybody seemed to enjoy it, but yeah, and it kind of evolved into now maybe skin creators should doodle a peen going down the leg. It's a it's a valid point, you know. It's it's a just like just like hair, hair for dudes. I'm like some of the hair that that's that's out there. I, I'm like I don't want to look like I'm uh, some outcast or living in the ghetto, you know. Uh, where's the normal hair that doesn't require you know, some kind of spikiness or, you know, long hair and comb back or something, you know, this is why I wear the hair that I have, you know, that and I get picked on from, from certain friends of mine who say that I look like freaking, uh, uh, Barry. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Barry from the Bee Gees. Yeah. Well, it does have Barry vibes. <laughs> so <laughs> if you don't know, Google it. It, you'll notice, yeah. Well, he's also called One me. Day. He's also called me too, and told me that I'm like, um, uh, dog the bounty hunter. Oh God! Well, yeah, I can agree <laughs> with that somewhat. When you, you know, change it to blonde, no, God, which I have. Look horrible with it, looking blonde. Which I have. Your well, skin tone. At that point, what was too. it? Somebody who called you like Surfer Jesus or something <laughs> like that when you did it blonde. Yep. Oh, I've been called a lot of things just because of how because of how it looks. It, it's, you know, and I mean, it's it's not like I can run around with a mullet, even though some of the I'm mullets, sure that there are plenty there of mullets. are there are mullets. I've got them and they look terrible. And, oh, um, I'm sure there's some updated ones too, but I, I I mean, the hair for me has been an issue since I started. So, you know, it's it's. I look at it and go, wow, I don't even see this out in the real world. Nobody's got hair like this unless you're wow. unless you're some like 20 something year old that, that um yeah. I mean I, I'm, I'm sure if I really want to get show my age, I could pretty much get like a comb over. Oh god. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh. <laughs> like my grandfather used to have a comb over and um imagine wearing that all the time. Yeah. Well, and or make a toupee I that still... kind of flaps in the breeze. Oh God! Kind of like uh, Rob Schneider in uh, one of those movies. Yeah. Well, and that's pretty much how the hair is that they have out because they've been making nothing but unrigged hair for men, which I don't understand. There's plenty of hair creators that know how to make rigged hair. Why can't you make short hair? You know, that's rigged for men. Hmm. Now we'll, you know, we'll get the, we'll get into the we'll get into the clothes thing too since you know, beat the hair and the peen thing with a freaking mallet and nothing will ever ever happen to it. So anyway, but we'll get we'll get into clothes since you know me I'm a simple jeans and t-shirt person. Yeah. And um, you know I, I'm not gonna buy pants that are falling down on my ass or falling down on one side or wear shirts that are hanging off of me. I, I was, it's it's not me. It, it's um, jeans and t-shirts. That's kind of where I'm at. You know, simple shit. Yeah. Even that stuff That's is hard stuff to that find. that you would, you yourself would wear in real life. Yep. So, and yep. yeah, it is hard to find. Yeah, just know? like, just like what I have on right now in SL. Yeah, at some point, yep. I would, you know, is I would look like that. I don't. I would dress that way. Yeah, you do. I, I wouldn't have hair this way. I mean, my hair as long as it <laughs> currently is. But since I got the big shiny bald spot in the top of my head, it looks like I have like a what? What did I call it? It's a it's a mullet with a bald spot. Uh, I don't remember what you called it, but yeah, you oh, definitely it's a have a bit I of have a mullet. Bullet. I have a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> but yeah, you definitely have the you know the ducktail flip going on at the back of your head and around oh, the ears. Ducktail, so. huh? Oh, is that a beaver yeah. tail? No, a ducktail. Have you ever looked at the tail of a duck? It flips up. Yep. Well, I can't make gonna... my hair do the the whole wiggling back and forth thing yet either. Yeah. Well, that, I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. It would. But. Yeah, it's very difficult to find you clothes that are, like, normal, everyday clothes that you would actually wear in real life. Because, like you said, it's either going with pants hanging off your ass or tight skinny jeans, which most guys don't really actually wear. Um, I've, um, I've seen guys wear skinny pants. I mean, I when I was at Chipotle yesterday up in, up in uh, Hadley, and of course, that Chipotle is right around uh, UMass and Amherst College and shit like that. So the thing is, is that all the twenty-something, you know, college kids are all into those skinny jeans and everything. I'm just looking at them, going, "Wow, really? You look like a giant douchebag." <laughs> but I mean, that's my opinion. Plus, I'm kind of old, and you know, I like my kinks, as you know. Yeah. <coughs> well, and then just like I'm someday also I'll, I'll get you into some like uh, yoga pants. Maybe. Come maybe. on, I, I, you can't look any worse than the shit that I see going in and out of Walmart when I go there. Well, if you can find yoga pants that fit me, one in size but also in length, um, that's the problem. I can get, I can find them in you know my size. Mm -hmm. For the most part, but then they think that if you're a bigger person, that you should also be super tall. Well, yeah, that's. I'm not. I'm five foot one. That's the I, difference. I don't have time nor the additional money on getting my clothes altered for my height. All right. So you know, I'm already spending like sixty bucks on a pair of jeans. I really don't want to spend another 20 to have them altered to have them shortened in length. Nice. And then I found a couple of play, a couple of stores, well, actually it's one store with a couple of pairs that actually give you like short and extra short mm -hmm. for the inseam. But then you run into issues where it's too tight on the thighs or the calves. And so then when it's too tight on the thighs or calves when you're walking, it pulls the jeans off of your butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm constantly hiking up my pants. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I know you want to get me a pair of suspenders too. I I have other topics, you know, on my brain. Oh, okay. Well, what what's your next thing? Because I was also gonna mention, I've noticed that male skins coming out are very feminized, which I appreciate the inclusivity of, you know, uh, all walks of life. But we need some more actual manly skins. Well, that that, and if you want to get with the dad bod that finally, that came out, it looks like it's a it's a, a ripped dad bod. Uh, um, I'm like, um, that's not realistic either. Well, that was just one skin on top of it. I'm sure there's gonna be skin creators that, you know, make it more doughy looking. Doughy. I thought it was hot. <laughs> I like the ad bod. I don't need the, you know, ripped, you know. Nah, I like the dad bod. It's much nicer. And it's nicer to cuddle with. It's softer. All right. Like, rest in your head on a cloud. I should have wrote down this next th this next thought I had, but. Uh, oh? Yeah. I you already forgot it. I'm blew sorry. Blew it out of the water. I should have wrote it down. Well, that's all right, though. Um. Um, but I know it had something to do with, um, oh, yep, yeah. we need to talk about the screamo crap that everybody thinks that puts all the metal music together and calls it screamo. Uh, As we've run into this in the last week. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, uh, broaden your fucking horizons here. Uh, I know what screamo is. And the shit that I play is not screamo shit. No. You know, but that that also goes along with the lines of of uh, when you go to certain places to to apply and and they tell you that 
in their description, like I put in, like I posted, that uh, it says in their description that they you play rock and metal and stuff like that. But yet, when you go to apply there and they tell you that we are not a metal club, you need to take that shit out of your description because right? that's very misleading. Very, yep. very False misleading. advertisement. Yep. I mean, you either gonna play it all, or you're gonna limit your what you're gonna play for music. Because um, when I was listening the other day, and I listened to this country freaking pop rock crap that was played, and I was just like, seriously, seriously, you know, it, it's dumb. But whatever. <clears throat> well, that's just people that don't understand or appreciate the rock genre. Well, the, the, the rock genre is all over the place, and plus, you know, now they're adding fucking pop princesses to the stupid list that they shouldn't even be there. You know, it's just to sell shit. It's just a marketing ploy. And it, it, it's it's dumb. And, you know, I, I, I get it. It's popular with a certain age range and a certain group. Um, you know, it, it kind of goes along with the same thing with, like, covers and mashups. I mean, everybody's doing a freaking cover nowadays because they can't seem to come up with anything original. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it, it just blows my mind. It's like, and some of them are real bad, real bad. And you know, I hear that. Uh, oh, this is great. Like, no, it isn't. <laughs> it is not. You know, I I mean, you can go on YouTube, and you can pretty much probably type in any music, and there will be thirty different covers of it. Yeah. And maybe you'll find fifty. And maybe one will be, eh, and then the rest will be like, what the fuck were they thinking? But, you know, these are my opinions. Mashups, on the other hand, I, I mean, there's one band that I like that they're mashups because they're kind of, they're all their own mashups. They're not sitting in front of the keyboard and putting them all together and call it a fucking day. Yeah. All right. Yep. So that was that, unless you had something to add on those two topics. The only other thing we got is that, um, as we got a lot of feedback though that people like our dual, my dual voiceovers even though we're 800 miles apart and they kind of think that we're in the same freaking room which we're not right you know well as far as like the music goes um, I was listening to the radio on the way into work uh, maybe Monday I think it was and we had this radio station um and it was supposed to be back in the day and for many years it was an alternative station like rock and heavy metal and all of that so where do you think Eminem falls into that or where was the other one because I'm looking at their playlist um uh, da, 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 Outcast Outcast yeah Outcast Outcast is a, they're a hip hop group, group, aren't they? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah. interesting. I yeah, mean, come on. It, it's, yeah, and it's, it's Eminem's like, the it's, real Slim Shady. It's like Sirius XM's Octane playing Jelly Roll, which I'm just like, why? Yeah, and I, I'm just not a fan. And not you, for the, uh, not for that station that they keep playing him on. No. No. I, I do appreciate some of his songs. Yes, I can appreciate his vocal talent and everything like that. And, you know, his music writing ability. Um, but the station that they keep playing him on, that's not the right station. Um, oh, hell, here's another one. Alanis Morissette was on that station. Um, okay, that's more on the pop genre of things. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, okay. It's... It's screwy. I, I don't know why we're trying to mash like hip hop and rap into the alternative rock genre. Well, I mean, it, you because put it... they inducted Eminem into the um, Hollywood Rock of Fame or whatever it was last year. Well, uh, I kind of give it to him. I mean, you know, he's kind of made um 
his stuff may be controversial. He's done a lot of things, and you know, he's. Well, yeah, I appreciate him as an artist and everything, and I do think that he's very talented, and I do enjoy listening to some of his songs. Yeah. But he's in another genre. Well, see, like what Doug would tell you too is that the radio stations have a program director and tells you what to play. So the thing is, is that you may be the DJ and is, you hear the voice, but they don't pick the music. Right. So the thing is, is that, you know, it, it could be some some younger guy that thinks that, you know, that that fits in this genre, which it doesn't. And, you know, that's that's all on them. But well, here's radio, the poor radio, song. radio stations are kind of a, a, a thing all their own. You know, they, nobody picks their, their shit. They have one person that picks it, and they go by their ratings and their advertising and, uh, you know, and higher up peoples and blah, 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 blah that have no idea about music. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, this was this morning. So the before song was See Their Song Broken. The song after The Real Slim Shady was Misery Business by Paramore. Wow. Right. Talk about a roller coaster ride. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's a uh, that's um broken with Amy Lee, right? Um, it just says Seether, but yes, that that is the song that she did with Seether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, it, it, it sounds like screwy. it sounds like they're not an alternative station. It sounds like they're a uh, uh, a top forty station. That's kind of what it's turning into, but yet they still list themselves as alternative '90s and 2000s, and mm-hmm. well, yeah, well, it's such a broad stroke. So yeah, that was always like one of my favorite local stations to listen to, and now I'm like, what the crap are you guys playing? This is why I don't listen to to um, terrestrial radio which is what they call that, Trust Your Radio. I don't listen to it because, I mean, even the classic rock station that is out of Albany. Mm-hmm. Now, I used to listen to them back, back when you were still a youngster, <laughs> still in the early 90s, and they would play a lot of um, 70s and 60s rock. And mm-hmm. it was like, that's your classic rock. Listen to them now, and they'll play a lot of stuff from the early 2000s and the 90s, and they'll play on some 80s. And it's just like, wow, this was all mainstream when I used to listen to you guys a long time ago. But yet, I don't listen to them because it's just they're not they're not the same anymore. We do have a local station here that has they play mostly all top 40, and their selections are terrible. But um, that's my opinion, and mm-hmm. it's just a small market. Nobody really cares. You got your right. middle-aged housewives that sit at home and listen to that station all day long. Those who, you know, you live in a small town, like as I do, or it's a small city, and people are just kind of living in their bubble and right. don't expand themselves, you know. And those, yeah, don't get me on a rant on some of the people that live around here. <laughs> yeah, you got quite quite a group of people that live out by you. But I could put I a webcam out there. in front of my house and we could have um we could have meth heads and and uh day drinkers and all the other stuff that walks by here. Yep. Oh my god, the number of bottles of fireball that you have littering your driveway. Oh, it's all over the place. Day. It is nuts, you know. It is nuts. I, I enjoy a little sip of Fireball here and there, but those little nips of Fireball, and you've got umpteen bottles every day. Well, that's because the 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 liquor store is I can see from my from my front of my driveway, and people that come from you know that live over in the next street over here, and all these people that are on the system and everything like that will walk over there. And they will pick it up and they will drink it on their way back. And mm-hmm. instead of now, the city has put a garbage can at the corner over here by the school fence. And the thing is, is that now I see the city here in the morning cleaning up all this crap. 
Well, it's about time that they're cleaning it up instead of you having to clean it up all the time. But it's kind of it. It's kind of like it's a problem, and um, it yeah. is. It, this this is why the school across the street has a six foot tall fence all the way around it. Oh God. Yeah. I could just imagine if it was a shorter fence. No, and I've seen some kids try to climb it too, so it's it's a thing. Well, I'm just thinking of you know the people that you have walking around, you know them trying to get in and. Well, move. I mean, give me a break. Right behind the school is the juvenile detention center. Right. <laughs> so go figure. Crazy. You know, I I'm in kind of a, a an interesting neighborhood that you know the shit that goes on around here. Yes, you are. So, anyways, I think we should wrap this up. Yeah, we're getting rambly. Yeah, we're We're talking about stuff that doesn't matter. Whatever. So, if anybody has any comments, good or bad, I know they're out there because the third-party workers are working hard at trying to shut me up. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. Good luck with that. The only way you do that is to come with me directly. Otherwise, I'm just going to ignore it. This is like I always do because it's... Third party doesn't mean diddly squat to me. That means you're just too. Nah, I'm not even gonna go into it. So anyway, so yeah. Oh, and real quick, hi stalker that's stalking my Facebook that can't be bothered or doesn't get bothered by any of these videos. I saw your like on a post that I made <laughs> like two weeks ago. Yeah, I saw that. Hi, how you doing? So anyways, as I was saying, like, subscribe. Um, all that nice little stuff. Yep. Comment down below. Join our Discord. All that. You can come on the Facebook and post on there. I don't give a crap what you got. Negative comments, positive comments, laughs, hoot and hollers, memes. I don't give a crap. I mean, it's it's uh, it's all it's all it comes and good, and it uh, and like everybody else's comments that come to me directly, it's kind of like yeah. Keep up the good work, you know, or what was the, the latest one I got was, um, oh, it's an interesting concept you got going on there. Oh, yeah. It yeah, is an interesting we concept. called nerds. Uh, nerds. <laughs> been... Well, that just makes you a nerd, too, if you, you know, can see that we're nerds. Yeah, and you want to listen to 30 minutes of us ramble on about about certain things here and there. But, yeah. So, that's that. And, um, yeah, and then we'll get to another one here shortly. But... Uh, 13 is now done with and we still got to do the club hopping thing but uh yeah i don't know what kind of bullshit i'm gonna get for that too so yeah or or christmasy things because i i think i look super cute with my little kitty hat yeah 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 <coughs> snowflakes on my nose and cheeks anyways see y'all later Alrighty. righty bye